All right, okay, it's recording. All right, um, hi, hi, it's Jeff. Uh, it's been a minute. Um, just thought I'd throw an update out there. These are probably, videos are probably going to get a little bit more regular now, um, considering that I have a little more time on my hands. Um, I have officially dropped out of college um, for personal reasons. Um, I slowly got to the point where I really I couldn't focus on my schoolwork and rather than fail out I opted to drop out and uh, I do plan to go back eventually um, I just don't exactly know when which sounds bad but hopefully hopefully things work out um, I uh, went on Prozac for a little while just to see my doctor said I don't know I don't think you have depression but we're gonna see if this can help you manage stress because you know being being trans and having an unsupportive family and stuff um, is really stressful um, I don't want to sound whiny or anything but it's it's pretty stressful um, so yeah I dropped out I uh, went off Prozac because that messed with me in a weird way so I am medication free I'm living with my parents for about another week um, I'm gonna move in with some friends probably late next week um, they are gonna let me jump on their lease and stuff like that um, still looking for more jobs because at the moment I really can't exactly afford to move in with them, but they're saying it's okay, I can pay them back eventually, um, which is really cool. It's a lot better than living here with my parents, um, where I'm still called ma'am and by my legal name and all that stuff. So um, hopefully that all works out. Like, I mean, when I first told my parents I was, I was going to drop out, they were like, well, to keep you from dropping out, We'll keep paying for your school if you pay for all your shots and everything and blah 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 and I was like it's a pretty sweet it was a pretty sweet offer not gonna lie but um thing is that I don't make enough money to exactly pay for everything right now so um, while that would have been ideal um, it's not feasible at this point in time so I'm looking for another job, hopefully another two jobs if I can get them. Um, I've probably filled out like 30 or more applications in the last two weeks and not really, not really getting anywhere so I'm gonna keep looking. Gotta find a job somewhere and um, yeah hopefully that all works out. Uh, a couple other things to mention, I don't think I've made a video since like December, maybe November, I don't know. But um, in January, like a couple days before my birthday, I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, so that's been interesting to deal with. It's been a little crazy, but I think I'm getting a handle of it. Um, oh, also, I uh, my girlfriend and I got back together. We worked out some, some issues and things, and things are going really well. So that's good. It's nice to have it's nice to have her back in my life because um, she's really been my rock. She's my foundation, and uh, she's a good lady. And uh, let's see, anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Just um, hopefully in the next uh, week or so, I'll uh, introduce people I'm going to be living with. Maybe who knows. Um, yeah, so uh, life is uh, life is interesting. Life is grand. Life is an interesting little game. So, oh, also, if anybody has not read the book Lolita, it's like really really sick. It's I think it's by Vladimir Nabokov or something like that. But it's really sick. But it's also got some really funny parts. And this guy is an incredible writer. So I encourage you to check that book out. Um, so otherwise I think that's it um, more later